Hello guys, Osprey420 here, and today I want to show you how you can copy and paste any build in vanilla Minecraft from one world into a completely different world. For this, you are going to have to have your world in experimental mode, so you can create an experimental copy of your world by going into the settings of the world and changing it to experimental mode, but for, and it also has to be in creative, but for the sake of this I'm just going to create a new world. Now once we're in this world, we want to open up the commands and type give at self structure block. And this is what we'll be using to achieve our goal. And hit enter. So now I've got a structure block. Right, if I place this down, you'll see a box appears around it. Now this is what it's going to copy. You can go inside the structure block and change the parameters to, to make it bigger or smaller. So say we'll make it 50 on the x-axis, then the blue one is the z-axis, we'll make it 15 here, and then the y-axis, we'll make it say 10. Gives you a nice little, and this minus one basically shifts it around the block, so if we change this to zero, you'll see it doesn't take the ground. Right, now that's, that's pretty cool. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll just build something quickly, I don't know what, but I'll just build something. Hi, for a quick build, I'm quite pleased with this. <laughs> don't judge me, we don't have palm trees in England, okay? And it's on the beach, so I'm actually quite tempted to um, to, to lower this down a couple. So we might go minus two, and obviously that cuts a bit of the tree off, so then we would increase this by two, and then yeah, recapture that bit of the tree, so we've got some, some more. And in fact, we'll go minus three. Alright, so then what we would do is save this structure. Now I would recommend picking some kind of name and system. So what I like to do is type WB for wasp brain, which means I built it, and then I would go palm tree one, because PT, and then one because it's the first palm tree that I built. Then you want to go save. Now what we've just done there is save the structure onto this world. So what we can do is take it anywhere else, place it somewhere around here, two down, oh no it was three down from there, then change it to load mode, type in the, the, the name of the structure, which should be easy to remember if you've got some kind of system, hit enter, and then it'll show you the area in which you're going to be loading it, right? But it won't load it yet, you have to actually hit load, and once you do that, there you go, you get your palm tree and you would delete your structure block and then ter probably terraform this area and make it look a bit more natural like you do, you know and then, yeah, it would be a nice little a nice little addition to bring this structure into a different world what I might want to do is just take the tree because it's, it's easier to work with so what you want to do is come to export and hit that button Then it'll bring up this window here. You want to save it somewhere where you'll remember, and it'll save it as a .mc structure. Hit export, and then you're good. So you can minimize Minecraft for now, and the full the file you just the .mc structure file you just exported will be here or wherever you've saved it. So what we want to do is open up a web browser and go to minecraft.net forward slash add-ons. Scroll down the page and download the behaviour packs. Once those have downloaded, you can move them somewhere a bit more accessible and close down your browser. Right. Double click this to open up the file and you can delete all of these folders. Don't need any of them. We 
need to actually add our own folder inside here, but since it's a zip folder, we can't do that yet. So if we right click, click extract all, then it'll extract it in the same folder as where the zip file is. Now this is our unzipped, ver this is our unzipped version of this. So now I can add a folder here. So if we go new folder, and then you want to call this one structures. Exactly how I've done it there. Now inside of this structure, for structures folder, you can drag your structure, your .mc structure. And in the manifest, if you double click that, this is where you'll change the name and the description of your pack. So the description can be palm tree, and the name can be wasps structure. Just wasp structure. And I'll just copy and paste that. Okay. Now, good practice to get into is changing these UUIDs. These are the unique IDs that are assigned each pack, and this is basically how Minecraft knows that each pack is different. So when you come to update this, every time you update your pack, you'll have to change this UUID. Otherwise, Minecraft won't open. Won't imp Otherwise, Minecraft won't import your pack properly. So if you just come to and type in on Google UUID generator, and just this one's good. If you click copy and then paste it inside of this file you can get a second one and do the same here and just it's worth mentioning that here is where you change your version number so if you want it 1.00 instead of 0.0.1 do that there right now that's good to go file save you got your structures pack there perfect right you can close your internet browser again you can also close, close this. Here's with vanilla the unzipped vanilla behavior pack. Right, right there. So if we'll rename, I'm gonna call this wasps structure. Hit enter. Now we wanna right click that, go send to compressed zip folder. Then we'll get a zipped version of our own customized behavior pack. So if we we'll right click rename again and this time change the file extension from .zip to .mc path. It will allow Minecraft, yes I'm sure, will allow Minecraft to recognize the file. So double click this and it should start the import. Now we can leave this world. Successfully imported what's the structure. If we leave this world we've now got a behavior pack ready to apply to any world with our structure in that we create in, in that other world. Okay, so we can do it to any one of these, but for the sake of argument, we'll create a brand new world. And it has to be creative, and it also has to be on experimental gameplay. Now, there is a way of making Minecraft think that we're basically changing it back to survival with experimental gameplay turned off and indeed achievements turned on. Maybe I'll leave that for another video and we'll call it palm tree test. Okay, so it's on creative, the experimental gameplay is turned on and you also have to add the behavior pack. So we go into my packs, find wasp structure, the one we just created, palm tree, and click activate. Continue, yes, and there we go. Wasp palm, pretty sweet. And then you can hit create. Hmm. Nice spawn. Waist deep in swamp water. I mean, it's not exactly a swamp, but you know what I'm saying. Right. He has a perfect place for a palm tree. Wouldn't you agree? So if we go slash give, add self, and then structure block, we can place this down. We can place this down somewhere where it would make sense for it to go. And then type in the name of the structure. Um, PT1, right? And then if we go to load, then you see the box appears the same size as the box that we had before. And then if you hit load, boom, your structure from one world into a brand new world. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Now it's worth mentioning that these structure blocks 
only go to a certain size. I mean, it is quite big. It's like 64 by 64 and 100, 100 and something tall. But if you put structure blocks within structure blocks and create a kind of like a lattice of structure blocks, then save them in one direction and, and load them in another direction, you can get any size pretty much, like if you can kind of get what I mean. So you would load this one in and then because you'd save these before you'd saved that one, these would load in with the correct name and it would be the next part of the structure and then so on and so forth. So you can't actually have like any size structure in, in any world. But yeah, this, this, is how you, this is how you do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little lesson on structure blocks and moving things between worlds and like kind of creative hacks, I guess you could say. Um, if you haven't enjoyed it, then you know you can hit the dislike button, but what would be cool is if you could comment, let us know what you didn't like so I could improve my content, right? Yeah, that would be good. Then maybe you would like my next video. But if you did like it, then bye, thank you, love you. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to turn the volume on that one down, I think. Yes.